Hi, I'm about to say welcome to my channel Africa Every Day. For this episode, I'll be reviewing a packet that I received all the way from Germany. It's yes, all the way from Germany. That's what I'll be reviewing. That's food, and I'll be prepare. I'll be preparing all those different kind of food, and I'll be giving a description of the taste and also how it is similar to our own local food here. But before we go into the video now, you can see the box, the white box that is emitting our green light behind me there. A viewer once asked me that, is that a router? And when I saw the comment, I laughed. I laughed for like two minutes. Then I replied, I said, a router in a Nigerian home? Look, at, let me tell you this. 99.9% .9 of Nigerian homes don't have router. Apart from the purchasing power, there are also problems like electricity in Nigeria that makes it impossible to have a router at home. The only router that you can find, that you can find in Nigeria, is a portable one that runs on battery that you can charge. Yes, and those ones, they have very limited capacity. Those are the ones you can find in Nigeria. All right, when you, you notice that I'm, I'm recording with a microphone, okay? So a patron actually sent me some money to use to, to buy any equipment that I'll, I'll be needing. So I decided to buy a microphone because uh, some of you have complained that you are not hearing my voice clearly and also the clarity of my words are not high enough so i decided to purchase that thank you so much for that patron i'm very very grateful thank you so much for making this possible and all my patrons too those that contributed to my gofundme thank you so much i really appreciate it my patrons you've been wonderful you've been excellent there's nothing i can show to you other than my gratitude and the gofundme it's not only serving me again, it is serving some of the members of my community too. Yes, those that are close to me, that they are in need of some you know, financial assistance. I also use the money to give it to them. And now uh, the king of them all, Mr. Mike Atamishtrin, a very compassionate, a very wonderful, a very... I don't even know the direct charge to use to qualify him. Thank you so much, Mr. Mike, for supporting this. It treats me like a family, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you so much, Mr. Mike. He has never seen me in person, yet he treats me like a son. Thank you so much, Mr. Mike. You'll be wonderful in my life, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you so much. I'll forever be grateful to you. You are the main man. Let's go. All right, let's open the package now. Before we open the package, I would like to uh, say some things to you. I was, I was discussing with my friend the other day, and he said, why do they love you? Why do they love sending you a package? And I told him, I said that, for that, I have no idea. I don't know why they love, why they love sending me a package. But I know one thing. They are all lovely, wonderful, compassionate, and uh, loving people. For that, I'm 100% certain. From the way they correct me, they criticize me, they direct me, they suggest things for me, they do everything out of love. So I know how loving, how lovely they are. That's the only thing I know for sure. So, but I don't know how, I don't know why they love watching my videos. I don't know why they love commenting. I don't know why they love sending me gifts. I don't know why they love uh, donating to my charity. I have no idea, but they are loving people. All right, let's go into the opening of the package now. Like I said, everything from Germany. So everything, every instruction is in German. And uh, I don't know how to speak German. And I'm not even sure if there is any school in Nigeria where German, where German is being taught. I'm, I'm not sure of that. But the sender is so, so wise and so sagacious to an extent that she deemed it fit to accompany the package with a note. So this note now contains the uh, brief description of all the items in this package. And in, in, uh, in the note, she said that hope I'm not, I won't be angry for her sending a handwritten note. So I want to use this opportunity to tell her that I prefer a handwritten note to type the one. That doesn't mean I don't like type one, but I love handwritten note. Why? Because I see it as an extension of the sender. All these handwritten notes, I filed them somewhere. Those that I need to be pasted on my wall, I paste them on the wall of my, uh, on the wall in my sitting room. So I love this. I see it as an extension of the sender. I love this. That doesn't mean I don't like printed one. I like that, but I prefer 
I've handwritten one to print it. So this is lovely. It shows, when I, when I hold it, I feel like I'm holding a part of the sender and I'm very, very good for this. I feel like I'm holding a part of the sender. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Okay, now to talk about, uh, this is soup. I've never heard of soup in German. This is soup in German. I've never heard of uh, soup, in, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably I, will, I would like my mom to taste any of this. I would like to, <laughs> I like to hear her opinion of all this. Okay, so we have the soup, different flavors, different flavors. So I'll be adding small episode of uh, tasting of each flavor to my uh, subsequent videos. So one is our uh, noodles. Obviously, it's, it's our noodles. I'm gonna enjoy this now. But this is the, uh, the weirdest among them all. When my brother came to visit me yesterday and I showed him this, the first thing he said that, uh, is this a toothpaste? Yes. <laughs> in Nigeria, we don't have any type of food that's in tube. No, we don't have it. It's, uh, when, when, what we have in tube is either it is medicine or it is toothpaste. That's all. We don't have another thing in tube. So this is very, very surprising. Though I've seen this in movies before. I have seen uh, cheese in tube before in movies, but not in real life. And I'm very happy for this. According to the note, this can be eaten without meat or in stew or soup. And I'm going to do that. But the main thing of this video is muffins. Choco, chocolate muffins. Chocolate muffins. And I'm going to enjoy this. Why do I love it? The reason why I love it is because I love chocolate yes i love chocolate a lot i love chocolate i'm saying that again that is why i'm going to enjoy this yesterday i bought my daughter a, a packet of chocolate so i really love i love chocolate a lot so i'm going to stop so this in this video very it. luckily for me she put the instruction of how it is to be prepared in the notes so this is how i'm going to prepare it the baking of the of the muffins choco. Okay, so the sender is a lovely person and very grateful to him. And now uh, here we have the beer. There's a belief in Nigeria that the original beer only comes from the, uh, from Germany. So I'll be drinking this. I want this time around. I'm not going to drink this without ice. I'm going to drink this after it has been iced. Mr. Mike has actually advised me as. Uh, uh, give me an advice of how I can make this to cool down, I can make it to be cold very, very fast. Uh, Mr. Mike is like, a, is like a father figure to me. He, 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 a man has never seen me in person, yet he treats me like a family. He's a wonderful man. I can never repay him. He's a, I don't, I don't want how to describe Mr. Mike at Tom Mixtrum. He's a lovely man, a wonderful man. The main pillar behind this channel. He actually sent me uh, this thing that was called router. This uh, solar panel uh, uh, adapter or converter was one that I sent. I can't even mention things he has done in my life. He's a wonderful man. My nuclear family and all my extended family will forever be grateful to him and all of you together that are supporting this channel. All right, let's go and bake. All right, to mix now, I've already unpacked the muffin. The muffin is already unpackaged. Okay, this is the plastic cup. This is what I'm going to put the butter on. One, two. You have two sachets inside, two sachets. Okay, this is the first one I'm going to mix. I'll be mixing this first. All right. I have the instruction right here, which I'm going to follow. The paper on molds. To the mix, you need two eggs. I'll be needing two eggs. We have two eggs right here. I'll be needing a uh, 150 milliliter of oil, vegetable oil, and now uh, 75 milliliter of water. I have it right here with me. Mix the cake mix 
eggs oil and together with the until the butter is smooth okay here we have the cake mix and now here we have the uh, chocolate chunks so the chocolate chunks here we have the uh, cake mix all right uh, since this one is not measured I assume I'm going to pour everything in there uh, since uh, there's no measurements for it I'm going to pour everything that is my assumption and now uh, I'm very sure I'll, I'll be correct okay now two eggs 150 milliliter of L and 75 milliliter of uh, water before mixing okay the instruction is uh, straightforward all right there's no second chance to this and now uh, <laughs> i'm very very nervous and anxious because uh, this is not flour that i can easily get uh, the, i hope i get this right it's enough flour that can uh, uh, I, ca I can easily get this is muffin all right then the egg now the egg <laughs> two different yolks one is white, the other one is yellow. Oh my god, that's funny. Then we have a uh, so I don't mix, I need to uh, recheck, recheck 150 milliliter of uh, oil. Okay, so I have this cup right here, it's 125. So I use the 125 while this one now uh, five milliliter. So 125, I'll add five of this. 124 okay no yes 125 then now uh, five of this that's our uh, 25 plus and i'm making it 150 of oil okay in you go then five or five milliliter this is five milliliter then five of it one two three four five complete then uh okay then we have 75, 75 milliliter of water okay 75 milliliter of our uh, water this is our uh, 15 milliliter that means i'm going to use five of this five times 15 that's 75. i don't have graduate i shall have used graduate cup but i don't have it but i'm going to buy a graduated jug one two three Four, five. All right, that one is complete. Now I'm to mix everything. Now this one in Yoruba we call it a morogun, like a stereo stick. We call it a morogun Yoruba language. No mistake, God. It's a must. I must get it right. It's a must. It still feels like I'm, uh, feels like uh, I'm dreaming. So all these uh, brand new experience to me. Special thanks to the sender again. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I'm very, very grateful. I believe the butter is well, it's well mixed now. I don't know if I can taste it. Let me see. Let me see what it tastes like. Ah, it 
tastes like chocolate. And that's what I love. There are many cuisines in Nigeria that will use this uh, this turning stick to prepare. We used to prepare eba, we used to prepare amala, we used to prepare semu, and uh, now which one? I think that's all. And I'm still going to make a video about amala. Amala and uh, and we do soup. Okay. Now the chocolate chunks now. According to instruction, I'm to leave one or two tablespoons of chocolate. So I'll be leaving two. Mix the chocolate chunks, but keep it but okay. It's like uh, there's no need for me to no need for me to make it to, to be to become powder or paste. Just for me to put it and make sure it is uh, it is well distributed. The instruction is quite straightforward. All right, now the dish now. How many? So I'll be filling it two tablespoons. I'll be filling each plastic uh, cup with uh, two tablespoons. I don't know the number of. Uh, chocolate that this one can contain all right that is our 12 so two 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 tablespoon this is our a tablespoon two two this is a brand new experience for me and i'm loving every second of it every second of it <laughs> i'm loving this Thank you, all of you. Special thanks to all of you. Please accept my gratitude. I'm very, very grateful to you guys. I'm very, very grateful for making me to experience all this. And uh, I'm planning, I've discussed it with Mr. Mike, I'm planning to visit one of the orphanages in this town. And uh, you know, when you visit the orphanage, you're supposed to, you know what I'm talking about, you're supposed to go there with gift items or if you have money, okay? Now, uh, if you want me to, to do that, if you have interest in supporting me to do that, uh, I would like you to indicate in the comment section, if you want me to visit one of the orphanages that we have in this town, please let me know in the comment section below. The number of people will determine if I'm going to visit or not. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do that. The love that you extended to me must also be extended to less privileged too. Love is the only thing that can make the world the world peaceful. Just like uh, in the Bible, love your neighbor this time around. Love every human as yourself. If you love each other, there won't be wars. There won't be wars, there won't be greedy people, there won't be robbery, and all those uh, social vices, they will not exist. We need love. The only hope for humanity, the only hope, the only original hope that we have is when we care for each other. So when we care for each other, we will not do anything that is detrimental to our fellow human. As a result, you'll be living in harmony. Imagine somebody who didn't know me from Adam, who didn't know me from anywhere, anywhere. Somebody who is uh, many oceans away from, I ask for help. And now uh, he gladly offered the help. Not only that, he also has been doing everything he can to make sure that the person is able to stand upright on their own. If every human is doing that, believe me, 
the world will be a paradise. I'm not saying now, uh, Mr. Mike is an angel or he's a special person, or please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's a god or he's a whatever or a prophet, please. But as far as I'm concerned, is a wonderful human being. Love is the force. All right, I still have small quantity left. It's not going to be wasted. So I'm going to put very small quantity on each cup. All right. So then they set aside chocolate chunks. This is so good. So good. No, I'm giving too much, too much. Three pellets should be enough. Oh, that is fantastic. All right, that is impressive. I'm very happy for this. Baking now, according to our instruction, I'm to bake it in uh, 180 to 200 uh, degrees Celsius, which is what I'm going to do. All right. Then now, uh, inside you go. And this will be baked for 20 minutes. Off you go. I'll check back on you in the next 20 minutes. I hope you'll be ready for me to enjoy. All right, it's already 15 minutes now. It's rising. Look at that. All right, it's done now. Let me switch it off. Yes, it's done. Wow. Look at that. Hey, look at that. This is so very, very attractive. Okay, this is it. So I can't wait to taste this. Uh, I'm going to allow this to cool down very well. Yes, I can eat it like this. I don't like hot, very hot food. So I'll give it for like uh, probably uh, 10 minutes for it to cool down very well. All right, I want to taste it now. Mm. But I've never actually said anything like this before. But uh, it's sweet and now uh, I'm pleasing to the tongue. This is so good. Yeah? This is good. Like, uh, it's like in eating chocolate and uh, isn't cake chocolate, yes. Like eating our uh, cake chocolate, like chocolate cake. That's how it tastes, chocolate cake without the, without the icing sugar, without the icing sugar. All right, thank you for supporting me. See you next time.